Hello friends, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about investing in art. I've had a lot of people recently asking me about investing in art and what art should they buy. And it was kind of strange because all of a sudden people were asking about something I don't get asked about much. And asking around, it was because a rapper put out a video and a, and a song where, and in it where he mentions how he bought a painting and it went up to $2 million, then $8 million, and the value that is retained in art and so this has got a lot of people interested but I want to make some points and I'm going to put some links to some books you can read and learn a little bit more about art but I want to make some points that are going to save you a lot of grief and a lot of error if you're going to start investing in art a number of years ago I was at a closed door meeting where art was being sold this particular case it was some Picasso's and what was interesting was talking with some of the individuals there, it was very much like you saw in the real estate market a number of years back where people just thought, I'm going to buy this and in a few years, I'm going to flip it and make a bunch of money. There was no thought process for, wait, this is way overvalued right now. It probably will go up in value, but you need to have some negotiating strategy here because buying it at the current price they're asking for is not wise. But people had this just focus that I'm going to make a bunch of money. This is still happening. There's certain parts of the, the world people are buying up real estate for double what it's probably actually worth in the real world. And these bubbles occur in all industries, all types of investments. You get bubbles and they eventually blow up. Things go back down to a normal price range. And then the bubble starts blowing up again. This is common. And there is more interest in art today than there's probably ever been but one of the biggest things you can understand in investing in art is to buy things you like don't buy strictly because you think you're going to make a bunch of money you think it's going to go up in value that needs to be part of the process of course you don't want to buy things you think are going to go down in value or just flatline you don't want to buy things at their peak either if you're believing they're they may start going down but buy the things you enjoy, the art you enjoy, the beauty that you enjoy. Because then at least you have something that you actually enjoy and value looking at. And not something that you're just holding on to, hoping it goes up in value. I've known people that have bought baseball cards, comic books, collector sets, collector plates, all kinds of nonsense. Thinking that they're going to go up in value and they're going to make a bunch of money. Your mindset towards investing in art should not be that all oh, is just going to go up in value and this endless up in value that happens in the stock market. People see no end in sight to the price of that stock and they buy and it goes down and it goes down more. You don't want to be buying at the top, obviously, and you need to have some wisdom in making these decisions. I'm not going to tell you what art to buy because obviously that's subjective. You need to buy what you like, understand the subject, understand the, that particular artist. Is their art consistently appreciating in value, especially living artists? They're living artists who have their works of art sold for many, many millions of dollars. We're not just talking about dead artists and art from hundreds of years ago. But one of the most important things, like I said, is you have to buy things that you actually enjoy. Now, you also, based upon that, need to make sure that the art you do enjoy has value and the artist in particular, their works of art keep going up in value. But the first basis before you even start researching the art is that you enjoy it. Because if you don't, you're not going to be waiting 5, 10, 20 years for it to go up in value. You're going to be frustrated and you can have money tied up in something that's not going up in value fast enough for you because you're only getting in for greedy reasons. And I've had people with their money tied up in art offer me the art for 50% off its value just because they want the cash immediately. Think of that. Don't get your money tied up in art if you're not willing to set on it and let it appreciate. It may go up very, very quickly. Art may not go up at all, but you need to like that art and understand that this is more long-term game. It could go up very, very quickly. 
but you can't be unwise and tie up money that you need for your basic expenses, basic investments. If you need that money quickly to turn over, maybe investing in art is not the wisest thing for you to do at this point in time. Unless you just are getting a good deal. Like one of those people who did get invested, bought too high, and is trying to just get cash instantly for 50% off or 70% off. Those happen. Those kind of sales happen where somebody just wants to get out of the art and they just want some money, some cash out of that investment. And that happens too often. Not because the investment's going down in value, but because the people are impatient. Investing in art is something that can be for a lifetime and generations. Wealthy families pass down works of art for generation after generation and they continue to go up in value. But if you're only buying things because you perceive that they might go up in value, you're in a bad position from the start. You're walking into that negotiation as a mark because you already want it. And those dealers know when somebody already wants to buy it and you're going to have very little room to negotiate the price to a reasonable level. And that gets into psychological issues where you also will hinder yourself from making the best negotiation because you're not willing to walk away from that item. And that is a big, big problem in any kind of negotiation. If you're not willing to walk away from the deal because you're not getting the terms that you want, you will get ripped off over and over again. Or at the very least, you'll get a worse deal than you could have negotiated if you simply had been willing to walk away. You don't have to walk away, but just being willing to walk away puts you in a different mindset to negotiate a better price and better terms for that particular item. If there is any interest, if people will contact me, leave some comments below. If you have interest in this, I will make more videos about what kind of art, what to look for in art, and things you can buy that might go up in value but of course it has to be based on you actually enjoying that art in the first place. So I pray it's been a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.